This is from Zeal Sound. This is the V13A. What this is, is a mobile podcasting system. This is a Zeal Sound A, or the V13-A podcast equipment bundle. This is an audio interface all-in-one system. Now, this does come with an XLR microphone, guys, and this and it has some voice sounds, adjustments, and everything in this. Inside this kit, you get everything you need except for a second microphone. Now, this system does allow for a second microphone with that. Now, as I pop this open, guys, I'm going to kind of show you guys the way it comes, just like this. So, you pop it open. Uh, you do get the user manual. You may need that user manual, so keep it. It will actually help a few of you out with certain things. Now, they do give you this cool little carrying case with their logo on. This carrying case is good for, like, earbuds with wires. If you need earbuds to uh, have feedback, they do give you that. Now, they give you this cool little shock mount. The shock mount is for the XLR microphone, but also has the tripod or boom arm mount. Now, this mount does have the little adapter in there, but you can actually drop this down. Like, I did drop it. You can pull out this other adapter, guys. Uh, this inner adapter will actually unscrew, and then you can actually use the bigger mount if you need. Now, also inside here, you're going to be greeted with all the cabling and stuff that you need, but we're going to come back to the cabling in one second because I want to show you guys the cardioid microphone. This is your cardioid microphone. It is an XLR-style microphone for this device. So with this, guys, you have the cardioid microphone on hand, uh, with this and now I'm going to oops uh, like this we're gonna pop over we're gonna kind of show you guys this uh, with this right here cardioid built-in noise reduction so it has noise reduction built in it is a dual 16 millimeter diaphragm microphone it is an all metal construction guys as you guys can see it has all metal all the way around it does XLR to 3.5 millimeter now this is what they call studio quality now with this microphone you will literally just slide it into uh, this mount right here, just like that, guys. And you are ready to put it on a tripod or a boom arm to use this. Now, I'm going to actually do a hot swap microphone test with this, guys, with you for this on purpose. Now, inside this kit, you are actually greeted with the tripod itself. So the tripod does pop down and work. It does have the little screw mount, and that's what we're going to grab over here. Slide it and connect it just like this, guys. Uh, so we are sliding it on. We're up. We're ready. And we're good to go. Now, I'm going to tighten this up just like this and leave this right here because we're going to actually use this in a second. Now, it comes with a lot of other cables, including a USB-C, two 3.5 millimeter jack, so you can connect it up to a phone if you need. That's cool. comes with three, two 3.5 to 3.5 millimeter cables. So you have those as well, so you can do audio out if you need. It also comes with a USB to USB, uh, micro USB charging or data cable. This is what you'll connect up to your PCs or your laptops to do that charging and connectability. You then have the XLR to 3.5. Now this is a bright red piece right here. Here's your XLR connection and there's your 3.5, which will connect to the actual board itself. Now, connecting that up, you pop it in and click it, and you're up and ready to go. The soundboard. The audio board is right here. This is your audio board. We're going to get to this, but first and foremost, I want to show you guys. Here is your outputs right here. This is your output charging micro port. Your two 3.5 outputs. Your, um, uh, your, your music input, which is your uh, 3.5 to play music into this. You have your audio input, monitor input, headphone input, and dual microphones. Now over here is your power button. If you hit this power button because this is rechargeable, that means you can actually take this on the go and use this without having it powered up because it is rechargeable. You have your microphone control over here, guys, to turn up your mic all the way. You also have your music if you want to turn up and adjust your music. Now I'm going to move this microphone real quick so I can actually turn and kind of read some of these buttons for you. First and foremost, guys, you have your reverb volume. You have your reverb uh, depth. You have your, I believe it's called audio uh, volume control, music EQ, bass, and treble. You then have your monitor controls, your voice changer control, your record level volume, uh, your lightning control, so you can actually adjust the lightning up and off if you don't want 
the lightning on the to this to be using, you can turn that off. You also have what's called dodge. The dodge is what's going to remove the actual voice from music. So you just have the music tones uh, when you're playing music. Now it also has denoise. The denoise is what's going to take out the background sounds. Now you do have several voice uh, styles of built-in pre-voices like original, popular, KTV, uh, MC, electronic, and then you have like different voice uh, mods as well, like boy, girl, robot, music only, and internal play. You then have a whole bunch of preset and sounds that it can actually do. Now, doing a hot swap like this is sometimes never a great idea, but we're going to do this. We're going to attempt it, and hopefully it sounds good live when I do this, because normally I don't do this, because sometimes it can actually uh, affect some things. Hook this up. We're going to connect this. We're going to do this to mic one, of course. Uh, now that we're up there, we're on mic one. I'm going to swap mics right now live. Uh, let's pop this open. Let's grab this. Okay. We are now on this microphone. For those of you listening in, let me know if it sounds okay if, or if it sounds uh, off-putting uh, because we're just doing that. Now, some of the things is, is if I want, I can actually turn the microphone down and you guys are going to notice my voice drop down and get lower as I adjust the volume of the mic down. I should turn it back up and I am now back. Now, like I said, it has a whole bunch of pre-built in sound. So if I say, um, let's do. Apologize, had to cough. Now, if I do, let's say. Um, uh, well, let's see here. Laughter. Uh, you guys should hear some laughter going on with that. Uh, if I want to do that noise, I can do that noise. Uh, that guy can do that street. Uh, and stuff like that. It's really nice to have this option. Now, if I want to do, let's say, like voice change, or I can swap it back and change my voice and adjust it uh, to deeper voice or shallower voice with that. Now I can pop over. We and now once I change that, I should have my phone changed it to whatever it wanted to set it. Really, really cool to have this option. Of course, the guys cardioid style, great little microphone, great little setup. Hopefully that test went out good. Uh, we're gonna swap back to my microphones. Should be back on the Blue Yeti now, guys. So you guys should be hearing me. On uh, the Blue Yeti, of course. Uh, but full-on kit, cool little piece, guys. Multiple connections. If you guys need from Zeal Sound, guys, the Zeal Sound V13. Great little piece.